Hello and good morning friends. Today is Saturday, December 16th and today is our Christmas party, our family Christmas party. And unfortunately, because of my dad's accident, he is not going to be able to be with us today. But he said, do not stop that on my account. He goes, you guys still go forward with everything that you're supposed to be doing because he does not want the little kids to miss out on seeing Santa Claus in the subdivision today. So, um, and he knows how hard it is to get everybody together <laughs> around uh, this time of year. So he's like, just go right ahead and do it. Um, and we're gonna be bringing him some stuff tomorrow though um, to his room, some like gifts and stuff. And unfortunately, because he is in the um, burn unit and intensive care, we are not allowed to bring in like decorations or anything like that to put in his room. But we are allowed to kind of like bring him some snacks and some gifts to open up. But he cannot like have any decorations in his room. The rooms are really small anyway. So um, there's really not a lot of room to put anything. So, But they also said, no, not allowed to do that, um, which is unfortunate. However, they do have a like a little tree out in their like nurse's station. And they have some decorations up there. Now, the room that he was in the other day... Um, you could look out into the nurse's station and you could see the Christmas tree and stuff and the decorations. I'm not exactly sure the room that he's in now because they've moved him again. Uh, uh, so um, I'm not exactly sure what that room, like the view of that room looks like. But anyway, um, but yeah, nonetheless, today is our family Christmas uh, party. Today is the day where we exchange gifts. We drew names back in October and today is the day that we exchange those gifts. So um, it's going to be a nice day. It's gonna be a fun day we're gonna make it fun we're gonna facetime my dad and we're gonna just have a nice little visit with our family um for a few hours and uh yeah that'll be that'll be that which is great the sun keeps um shining and it keeps getting brighter in here so i'm gonna keep like adjusting the color as the sun like brightens up the room and darkens the room <laughs> anyway, I just got out of the shower. I have been very, very busy the past couple of days just kind of cleaning, finishing up my Christmas shopping, and getting all of that stuff done. Uh, Monday, I have to send everything off. Um, so I finished up all of that Christmas shopping. I believe that was on Wednesday. And um, so now I have to get all of that stuff shipped off. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I've also been cleaning and getting the house prepared for today, um, preparing snacks and baking cookies and all that good stuff. And I'm sorry that I did not share that with you guys. It's just, um, I just wanted to get it done. And I'm so sorry that I didn't um, share any of that stuff with you guys, but I will share with you guys the cookies that I did make yesterday. I made gluten-free chocolate chip cookies and they are delicious. Um, I'll share that with you guys in just a second. Um, so after I'm done getting my, my makeup on and my hair done, I'm actually gonna run to the store really quick because I have to go pick up some eggnog and I have to go pick up some ices for Brian and I have to go pick up the, um, like uh, ginger ale and grapefruit juice and something else. That's on my list. But let me go show you guys what I have done in the kitchen so far as um, as far as like the party stuff goes. Oh, and then um, what we're doing too is we're meeting everybody at the Mexican restaurant here in town. And uh, we are just going to have a nice lunch and then come back here, open up gifts, wait for Santa and have some dessert and just kind of visit with family. So that is what we're going to be doing. Let me go show you the kitchen. Okay, so I actually have like the plates and the napkins set out. I have some M&Ms because that's kind of what we just snack on too, but I did just refill that. Um, I bought these cookies the other day. These are just like regular like Walmart cookies. So I bought those and I put them inside of my little cloche here. And then these are the chocolate chip cookies that I made. I'm going to take these out in a little bit and just kind of put them on a nice pretty plate so they look nice and like decorative. And then I picked this up too because um, I thought this would be kind of fun for the kiddos to do. Um, we will sit at the table over there and we can decorate a cookie, which would be kind of fun. And then um, here are some glasses, which I need to get the other ones out. Um, here are some glasses. And then here is the little... Um, container for the punch that I'm going to make. And then I did um, slice up some strawberries and we're going to melt some chocolate and put that in the center and have some like chocolate covered strawberries. And then 
Brian wants me to make some Heath, so I actually have that laid out as well so I can make some like chocolate Heath for him. And then let me show you over here too. So um, some friends of ours, uh, Ray and Sandy, the ones that live in Georgia, sent us a beautiful Williams and Sonoma package. And she said, there's supposed to be two packages. One didn't come yet. So we're waiting for the other one. Anyway, so these are the like um, hot chocolate bombs. Two of them are Santa Claus and two of them are Christmas trees. And they're just like little chocolate bombs that you put inside of your hot chocolate. And then um, this came with it as well. Just like a hot chocolate um, vanilla with marshmallows. So I'm excited to try this. It actually sounds so good. And Williams and Sonoma, I've heard, is divine. So that's what we got from them. And um, I actually, let me turn you guys around. I actually sent them a, a gift basket from... Harry and David's, as, as well as our friends Monica and Brian's mom and dad, his aunt and uncle, and then um, Ray and Sandy's son Chris and his wife Sydney. So I actually sent those as well. I think that's what I'm going to do next year instead of like getting like gifts and stuff even for like my kiddos I'm going to just order stuff from Harry and David's and have it sent to them because they have some really nice um, gift bags baskets full of like different treats you can get like straw chocolate straw chocolate covered strawberries you can get cookies you can get um, a nut basket you can get a fruit basket you know, all kinds of stuff cheeses and sausages so those are always really nice so I think for next year that is what I'm actually going to do instead of getting gifts. I think that's just like the best thing to do. So, um, but I just kind of want to show you guys kind of what I have here sitting. Um, and uh, I'm going to go do my hair, my makeup, and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit when I am headed to the store. So I wanted to show you guys too. Um, I kind of changed things up here on my tablescape. So this like wooden lift thing, I ordered that on Interior Delights. And it came in the other day and I said, well, I probably won't mess with it until after Christmas. Well, I decided to mess with it. <laughs> so I actually put it on the table and then I um, put the garland like up across it and then added my candles back and the little deer and everything. So I think it turned out so pretty and I absolutely love the way that it looks in here. And it actually gives it so much height. And that's exactly what I was hoping for as well. So yeah, I think it's very, very pretty. I love it. And I will probably be using it a lot, especially in here because I love it on the dining room table. But yeah, we're gonna be heading out here soon because I gotta go to the store and pick up a few things and we're gonna go to Mexican. Did she just get that? Yeah, I bought it Aww. for her today. Let me see how cute Peppa Pig is. Watch. Oh, whoa. Whoa, Peppa. Hemi, Hemi. Aw. What? What is that, Liliana? What is that? Look, like, she's like, oh, what is that? Here, honey, let me have that. She's. Oh yeah, no, we're not playing with the bat. Mm -mm. That's all we need. Yeah, no, we'll we'll keep it. We'll keep that in there. That's so pretty. So pretty. Oh. Yep. Pretties. 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 I see you. I see you. Oh, I see you. There we go. Now it's working. Oh, we got Santa in the house. Hey, Amber. <laughs> Good. He's doing better. He's still obviously at the hospital. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he's. Thank you so much. Yes. I know it's sad, but he's doing good. Yeah, he's doing really good. He's um, long road of recovery. Can I see you? You want to jump up? Will you jump up here? Ask her mom right there. I know Parker can. Oh, how cute on the fire! Did Lucas get on the fire truck too? Oh, how cute! <laughs> Very nice, Santa. Good job, Santa. I know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, good job. Good job, Lily. Maybe. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. you. I know. She's got yeah. three foot tall. Yeah. <laughs> Say bye, Santa. Oh, bye. there's the kiddos. Hey, kiddos. Hi. T Rexes on your t shirts. Oh. Very nice. <laughs> thank you, Amber. Always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, you're fine. No worries. I appreciate you asking. Uh oh, he's coming down here. Here comes Santa. Oh. <laughs> so cute. Oh, cute. We're ready for Santa. Yay. <laughs> Lucas is already waving. Yeah, but it's going to get straight on the top, which I'm not mad about. Here he comes. I don't think it will be straight. It doesn't look like they're throwing candy, though. Yeah, probably not. Oh. Whoa. Yay. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> Her little face. What? Oh, oh I think he has something oh. in his hand. Oh boy. Oh, hi, oh, hi Santa. Think whoa! Oh. Woo! <laughs> Look at there. Oh, you, got, you got your favorite thing. Skittles. Yay! Okay, good job. Awesome. All righty guys, so that is going to be it for our family Christmas today. Uh, we were actually able to FaceTime my dad while he was in the hospital. He actually called and we were able to FaceTime him for a little bit, but he had a procedure, another procedure done today. So he was still a little bit sore and groggy from that. But um, we do have some gifts that we are gonna be bringing him tomorrow. And um, so we're excited to go see him. So it's gonna be an early day for me tomorrow. And uh, I have to pick up my mom and I have to pick up my niece and then we're gonna head to the hospital tomorrow and spend a few hours with my dad. And then we'll probably grab lunch on the way back. I might actually stay the night at my mom's, my mom's house tomorrow night um, and just kind of stay with my mom. So um, I need to pack up a bag just in case. So, um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. We had a great day, everything turned out well. Santa Claus came, the rain held off, which I need to go outside and cover up my patio now. Um, but yeah, what a great day. So glad that um, it was a huge success. We just missed my dad, but he was there in spirit and he was there on FaceTime. So, and he was perfectly fine. Trust me, he was, um, he's in a lot of pain still. <laughs> so he's, he's perfectly fine. And when they're doing procedures and in stuff anyway, um, nobody can go up and see him during that time. So um, it's best. So, so he's just resting, which is great. But they did say that they don't have to do any more skin grafts, which is great. That means that everything is healing properly and doing its thing. And they won't have to take any more skin from his lane that they did the skin graft from. And they said they're just going to go ahead and let that heal on its own. And it's going to kind of start peeling off by itself, which is the, what it's just supposed to do. But they do have to keep going in um, at least two to three times a day and cleaning his um, burn wound. So, um, but anyway, that was it. Thank you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye. Yes, hello, good morning. Um, could I get a venti white mocha with a caramel drizzle, caramel syrup hot, please? Caramel drizzle and syrup? Yes. All right, anything else? No, that's it. 801 at the window. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good morning, friends. Today is Sunday and I am on my way to my mom's house to pick her up so we can go to the um, hospital in Nashville to go visit with my dad for a few hours. Um, I'm also going to be picking up my niece Hannah on our way there. So I'm going to pick up my mom first, then I'm going to pick up Hannah and then I'm going to pop on 24 and I'm going to head that way. So I am first though. <laughs> getting myself a Starbucks. I'm sure this is probably something that we are gonna do like after I pick up Hannah because she has a Starbucks like right by her house. But um, if we have to stop for her, I will. If we have to stop for my mom, I will. Um, but I'm stopping for myself right now. And then um, that way I can have this and drink this on the way to my mom's house. Cause it takes about an hour and 20 minutes or so to get to my mom's house from here. Hour and a half, just depending on traffic getting out of the city. Well, I say city. 
getting out of Hunt's Hole. Because <laughs> um, usually it's just it's just pretty much back roads to get to my mom's house, so it's no traffic whatsoever. Um, but now that it's a Sunday, there's like zero traffic out, which is great. However, the line for Starbucks is long. I ordered right away, though, so that was a plus. But just the wait here for the coffee is a long line. But I'm sure they're going to move it right along. And I actually Googled this morning, too, like... Um, uh, Starbucks, Huntsville, oh, excuse me, to see like which ones were open. And this one is the only one that was open. The one that I stopped by on the way to my mom's house is not open yet. So it didn't open till eight and it's 7.15. So I have been up since about 5.30. I got in the shower, got myself together and ready, threw a load of wash in the washing machine, put it in the dryer right before I walked out the door. And uh, I put the dishes away this morning as well that were sitting on the counter from last night. And so I did a lot of things already this morning. Got myself dressed and ready to go. It's 7.15. I'm getting myself a coffee because it's, it's been a morning so far. You know, I've been doing stuff. Been busy. Um, but we're excited to see. Oh, no, I forgot my dad's. Oh, no, I didn't. I put him in my bag. So <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, I forgot my dad's stuff. He won't be able to drink or eat the... Um, the chocolate covered cherries because they have him on insulin um his blood sugar was a little elevated so um they kind of have him on insulin to kind of keep that uh, which is strange because that's a first um so he won't be able to eat his chocolate covered cherries probably won't be able to eat those until he gets home if he can get the sugar like down you know or stable where it should be Anyway, nonetheless, but my mom has his gift from yesterday, and so we'll have my dad open his gift. I probably will not film that because um, it's it's my dad, and um, he is going to be in his gown at the hospital, and he just doesn't feel comfortable. So, um, obviously, privacy reasons, I will not be filming my dad opening his gift. However, um, if he allows us to take a picture, I will... And just kind of insert half of it here or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, again, just depends on how well he's covered up. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I have no clue. Um, anyway, but yeah, I am hungry, and I was gonna have to text my mom and see if she could just pop me in um, an egg really quick, a boiled egg. I'll call her in just a little bit and ask her if she could just put me in a boiled egg. That way, I can have a a boiled egg really quickly. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just kind of wanted to get on here and say good morning, let you guys know what the plan is for today. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to be home by 4.30, 5 o'clock this evening. I'm hoping to be home before dark. That's my main goal here is to be home before dark because I do not like driving in the dark. That is one thing I do not like to do unless I absolutely have to do it and, um, I think we're going to get up to the hospital in enough time that we can spend a couple of hours up there. Only two people allowed in the room anyway, so it's kind of like with me, my mom, and my niece. Um, we all kind of have to like switch, and then I know my aunt and uncle are going to come up there too, so we're going to be switching back and forth. So, um, But yeah, 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 that's going to be the plan for today. Got nothing else going on. And then um, tomorrow, tomorrow we'll start a whole new week. And um, I've got to do, obviously, some laundry. I've got to clean our room. got to clean our bathroom and stuff like that. And then um, because my cousin is coming in on Wednesday. But she's going to her mom and dad's house, which is my aunt and uncle. Um, so she's going to go to her parents' house and stay there. But we will be visiting um, periodically. Plus, I'm hosting Christmas at my house Christmas Day. So, um... Yeah, so I got to prepare for that as well. Like, I got to get a ham, I got to get a turkey, I got to get potatoes, I got to prepare for the meal that day. So, got a lot of stuff to do. And that's like on Monday, the 25th. So, yeah, a week from tomorrow. One week from tomorrow is Christmas. Thank you. That'll be right out. All right, thanks. So, yeah, I just realized a week from tomorrow is Christmas. What? I'm going I'm to try to find out today, like, um, I hope they don't change my dad's dressings or his bandages and stuff, um, 
until I get there because I want to see how they do it if they let me see how I do let me see how they do it um, because um, I want to know how to do it just in case I have to sometime um, my mom was saying yesterday too that while she was there the other day they kind of told her that they may send him home and then have a home health nurse come in every day and do all that stuff and make sure that he's doing good um, and then once a week we'd have to drive him back to Nashville so they can do all of that so I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know if he's gonna have to go to a rehab rehabilitation center and therapy I don't know we're not sure it's just depending on him because he's up and walking which is fantastic my dad just my dad's not a guy to sit around that's one thing he gets very um, uh, ag agitated edgy he gets very anxious there we go maybe anxious and he has to like go 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 like he's constantly on the go um so for him to have to sit in a hospital is he's doing really well though which is surprising and he's also a smoker which he's doing very very well with that as well let's just cross our fingers and hope that he stops smoking um and this like this is like the breaking point like he will stop smoking he will not smoke anymore after this they are giving him the patch and i know they give him the patch like every day and then they switch it out um, so that's good too. And they have him on a diet, a regular diet, um, like a, a nice diet. So, um, he doesn't like any of the food that he's getting, but we're hoping today that maybe we can bring him up some Panera. There is a Panera in the hospital there. Um, and, uh, I'm hoping maybe we can bring him up maybe soup, a sandwich. We'll ask what, uh, the restrictions are from the nurses, um, and, and find out what we can and can't bring him and we know he can have black coffee we know that so and there's a starbucks at that hospital too we found that out the other day too from my aunt i told her i said there is a starbucks somewhere in there or around that area and i found come to find out it was like on the eighth floor of the hospital we're like what so i waited there all day monday and didn't have a starbucks what they're kind of taking a little longer to stay hmm. um but yeah so anyway that's just a little bit of some like updates or whatever so um we'll see how the day goes and how long we can be there for i thought maybe me my mom and my niece would probably go grab a bite to eat afterwards and after we're coming home i packed a bag just in case i stay the night at my mom's house i'm hoping not to be able i'm hoping not to have to do that but if i do I'm prepared this time. I have jammies, fresh toothbrush, all that good stuff. Makeup remover, wipes, face wash. Of course, I can use my mom's face wash because she uses the same stuff. But um, anyway, nonetheless, I do have a bag packed just in case I stay at my mom's house. And it's a great possibility that I will stay at my mom's house. Like I said, it's just depending on um, how, how long we stay at the hospital and visit. Because like I said earlier, I do not like to drive at night, especially on the back roads. So I prefer to drive during the day where I can see everything. Boy, they are really slow today. Like, dang. I have to drink my water. So I wanted to, like, I didn't um, share anything that I got from Christmas yesterday, but my aunt got me a beautiful, like, ornament. Um, a Disney ornament that lights up. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'll have to show you guys later. Um, I got the uh, Matthew Perry book from my niece Hannah um, and I got a sh cute little sweatshirt I'll have to show you guys too from my niece in from my nieces Hannah and Courtney um, it just says um, aunt and then underneath it it says established 1997 because that's when um, Hannah was born that's when I first became an aunt super cute and then um, I see her coming now from my peripheral um, and it's on the sleeves it says um hannah courtney parker so cute i would have worn that today but i didn't get it washed so i want to wash it first i don't know, do you guys like to wash things first before you wear it like if you don't if you can't like if it's impossible to do okay great thank you so thank much you. you too oh yeah all right let's go let's go now I'm a, I like to wash things first, but like if you can't, like say if you're at like Disney or whatever and you want to wear the shirt that you just bought, you know, we just wear the shirt that we just bought. 
Um, but anyway, so yeah, hey, I'm so excited. I'm excited to go and see my daddy. But okay, I'm gonna go. I will talk with you guys later on. Bye. Show, I mean, can you show him maybe where the Christmas ch selections are? Because he might feel better watching Christmas selections. I don't know. Sure. Yeah, so but you'll have so many options there too, Dad, that you... <laughs> what? You'll, you'll have, have so options. many options. Yeah, lots of options for movies. No sex movies. Well, no, we're, no sex movies, Dad. Okay. <laughs> There's no... What's in that car? <laughs> yeah, no sex movies, Dad. I mean, there might be something on there that has... Yeah, but you don't have to watch those, well, obviously. Don't no. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, anything... Yeah, there's some fun stuff on there. You might there's find... family-oriented ones on there. He doesn't... Yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> I can do all that later. Yeah. yeah, you have a ton of options. So whenever you want it, just go to your apps, hit Netflix, and I have you logged in. Something happens, call me. Like, see, you just clicked on this to possibly watch it? No. Okay. You just go back here. See this little arrow? There you go. Oh, I didn't mean to. I oh, did it again. You did again. it again. That's okay. okay. Just hit the arrow, you're good to go. It's because he's trying to scroll. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to scroll. Yeah. <laughs> but it's scratches. Yeah. Oh. We have to know what size that one is because I don't know which one that is. I don't know what at, um, tablet. I, or tablet that I is. Think it's like the so whatever size that is. Yeah, no, I do. Okay. No. Okay, if you get a fish out, like leave it to beaver. No. Or just play and leave it to beavers. Well, I don't think leave it to beavers gonna be on Netflix. Right. But like when you click on something, yeah, it'll just play until you hit. Play different movies. Yeah. Wish you had a stand. We could put a stand up. Hello and good morning friends. Today is Monday morning. It is about 10 o'clock on Monday morning and I left my mom's house this morning about 6 15. I ended up staying the night over at my mom's house which I was prepared for. Um, we left my the hospital left my dad about 2 30 2 45 he was about ready to go down to physical therapy um so uh, we left right after he had lunch and then right before he was getting ready to go to physical therapy so um we left and then mom me and hannah went to texas roadhouse and had um, a nice meal and then um, dropped hannah off and then we went back to my mom's house where we pretty much just changed our clothes wash our faces and chilled for the rest of the night mom and i watched like the first half of um uh sound of music and mom had said she has never seen like sound of music and then she's like yeah i've never watched this and, I'm, and then she's watching some of it she's like oh wait she goes yeah yeah i've seen like bits and pieces of this she goes isn't like um she has to go take care of like seven kids or something i'm like yeah she <laughs> becomes their governess and I said and then they end up getting married and all that good stuff and she's like yeah she goes I've seen she goes I've never watched this whole thing all the way through she said but I have seen like bits and pieces and I'm like well you are in for a real treat tonight mom I'm like because you are going to get the live version singing of every song <laughs> on Sound of Music uh and yes she did um so then at when it was the intermission like that time uh we went to bed and i actually went obviously went to bed and then i watched the rest of it in bed 
and then um, uh, fell asleep and then I was up like I swear every hour so like 12 30 1 15 like 2 o'clock 3 4 15 it was crazy like I watched the clock just all night long and I'm like oh dear lord and then at 6 15 I when I rolled over to see it was 6 15 I'm like oh okay I'm like well I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna hit the road so I got myself up and um went outside to start my car and uh, let it warm up for just a quick second and then um, went and got gas and came home and then that's where I called Brian's mom for a little bit I took a shower I stripped our bed got myself together and ready and now I'm out running errands so the first thing that I'm going to do welcome to welcome to Monday guys I wanted to I'll catch you guys up on my dad in just a quick second I um, wanted to go to the new car wash it is open and I'm very excited about that. So I'm gonna go to the new car wash here in just a second. I'm gonna be um, dropping off the packages at the post office that I need to mail uh, and get those sent off to my kiddos. And um, yeah, we are gonna go from there. Then from there, we're gonna go to, to the car wash, then Trader Joe's and then um, Publix on the way home. I'm gonna make chili for dinner this evening. So um, just a few things that I have to get done today and uh, then go back home and put sheets on the bed, laundry, all, that thing, all the things that I didn't get to do yesterday because I was out of the hospital with my, with my mom and my dad all day. Um, so when um, my dad's physical therapy. So my dad has, you know what, I'm gonna, I wanna, put the camera up and I want to talk to you guys more about this in a little bit so I'll update you guys about my dad here in a little what 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 why would you do something so stupid like why did you do that like get out there and you like don't go like slam on the brakes okay I'm people 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 they get out in the middle of the road and then they don't go they turn out in front of you and then they don't go it's like yo and that is not road rage, that's called common sense. It's like, if you pull out in front of somebody, either you better hit the pedal and you better go or you're gonna get slammed. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, um, I'll put the camera up in a little while and share information with you guys about my dad here in just a little. This person pisses me off too. Like, dude, where is everybody getting their knowledge of, of driving? It's like, bubblegum machine, obviously. Jesus. All right, gotta go do this. Whoa, and that car just backed up and didn't even pay attention that there was a truck there. It's like, Lord have mercy. People are losing it. All right, I'm gonna go right in here and deliver to, oh, what is this? They got a drive through? What? Alrighty, so um, I dropped off the packages. Those should get there Thursday and Friday. Um, I still have to mail two more packages, so I'll probably do that either tomorrow or Wednesday. Those ones are probably going to be late. Um, but anyway, so I am at my new car wash, and I'm very, very excited about it. Um, so what's interesting about it is I don't need any like stickers to put on the car. Um, because they just do it automatically through, um, through your driver's, uh, your, um, license plate on your car. So that's very interesting to know. So I signed up for their like little monthly deal, like I had done on my other one. So now I actually have to cancel my other one and battery's dying. That's fun. the new car wash 
I love the suction in the vacuums. There is a lot of suction and I love that. So I was able to like vacuum out my car. That's really like a lot of the times I skipped vacuuming my car at the other place because the suction just wasn't good enough and it just really wouldn't get up all the stuff that needed to get up. So this one, is working great so I hope they keep that continue suction going because it's great 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 um, but yeah I love that car wash so I got a new car wash in town woo, woo, love it um, now I'm gonna be heading for Trader Joe's and then uh, on my way back I'll stop off at Publix and if the line isn't long at the other place I'll just go ahead and cancel my other um, uh, car wash subscription so I love my I love my car washes my car feels nice and clean it's nice and fresh and pretty and I love that so when it comes like after winter time I'm gonna take it down here to like this the place and just give it a nice full overhaul I'm gonna do the same thing with um, Brian's as well but now we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and I will see you guys probably when I at home or if I'm in line at Starbucks um, then I will talk to you guys a little bit about my dad's um, my uh, update on my dad and his therapy alrighty so I just left Trader Joe's got what I needed to get which my main thing to come over here to get was that unexpected cheese and I got it I got four little packages of that stuff because last time I came here they didn't have any and I'm like ooh, I'm gonna stock up on that cheese because um, obviously I'm going to set that out uh, next uh, next Monday. A week from today is Christmas, y'all. So I'm going to be setting that out um, a week from today uh, when I have my family over for Christmas dinner. Which reminds me, like I still have to go get turkey, ham, potatoes. I have to go get the. I have to go get everything still. So I'm going to be like at home making a list very, very, very soon to get that stuff done. Um, another thing I really wanted to do really quick too is find my phone. There it is. And, um, cause I got to pay for my Starbucks here in just a quick second, 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 second. Okay. So I wanted to go ahead and quickly just like update you about my dad. So like I said yesterday on our way home or right before we left, they were getting ready to take him to physical therapy. So basically, um, he said what they did was they're trying to work with him on bending his knees and bending his legs because right now he's kind of like scooting like this. His legs, both legs, are wrapped from right underneath his buttocks all the way down to his ankles. So he's got um, big, huge yellow bandages full of bacitration on um, the backs of his legs. And um, then he has white gauze wrapped around his legs. And then he has big like ace bandages wrapped all the way down from his, like I said, his buttocks all the way down to his ankles. And he goes, that is very, very tight. And of course they have to be tight. Well, that the tightness is, is constricting him from being able to like bend his legs and stuff like that. So he's, it's very difficult for him to do anything. But they were working with him yesterday and they told him that he can bend in in that stuff hold on I got to order um, he, they, that he can bend still in that stuff because it's very flexible so he can do all of that and um, so that's what they're working with him on is doing that because like I said right now he kind of scoots he doesn't bend anything and when he sits down in his bed he kind of just sits on his behind and the nurses kind of have to lift his legs hey, up yes hi uh, good morning could I get a venti white mocha with caramel drizzle caramel syrup hot okay anything else for you nope that's it hon thank you so basically what they do is like I said they kind of lift up his legs and shift him in his bed so like you know he'll sit down and they just kind of lift up his legs and then they shift him and then he just kind of has to like maneuver and wiggle 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 um but he can't it's so funny bless him he puts his hands like up on his thingies and he uses all of his like weight from his hands and his upper body strength to try to pull himself up and it looks like he it looks like he's um he's working really hard to do that and go not moving not going anywhere because he thinks he's trying to do something but he can't so he's in that um 
he's in that like trauma response mode where he's afraid to move. He's afraid to move his legs. He's afraid to move or bend his legs and move his legs. So he's afraid about that stuff. So they're working with him on that. So he starts um, being able to um, physically move his legs. Now he's able to get up out of the bed and he's um, by himself, which they don't really care for, but, um, but he is, he is able to get up out of the bed by himself, which is great. He gets, um, his little walker and he's walking all over he's walking to the bathroom now he gets up to shave and all that stuff so that's really really good um, and he can sit in a chair um, which is really really good too um, but his um, when he's laying down or when he's sitting down um, you know all that stuff kind of like oozes out all that bacitration and still kind of bleeding and bloody but it's good it's not bad blood it's good blood <laughs> Um, so my mom kind of got a little nervous yesterday. Oh, they got a cute but a big old tree down there. That's cute. Um, my mom was getting, getting a little nervous yesterday because um, when he got up from his chair, um, his he so he sits on these pillows and stuff too to make it softer for him to sit on. Um, the pillowcases had all that oozy stuff on it and um, all of the like there was blood on there. She said if it's dark dark blood then we'd be really worried about it because it's a lighter blood it's perfectly fine it's perfectly normal so and then I also mentioned um, too I think about him um, being taking insulin so the reason why he's taking insulin and that's because um, he is kind of like borderline diabetic but he's not diabetic um, but they were giving him insulin uh, because his sugar was a little bit high for a couple of days and that still could be I don't know from shock or trauma or whatever like that but they said that they were giving him the insulin because if you know with um, so your wounds will heal because if your your insulin's too high right if your insulin's too high no, if your sugar's too high, if you're, I'm, I'm probably butchering this, so somebody will definitely correct me if I'm wrong. And you guys know what I'm saying. His wounds have to heal. And if his sugar is too high, then that stuff's not going to heal. Or if his glucose is too, I don't know. Anyway, nonetheless, yesterday they took his blood sugar. They take it every day. They take it before his dinner, before his breakfast, after his breakfast, after his lunch, before all that stuff, before and after every meal. And yesterday it was like 110 and it was really good. So she's like, you don't have to take insulin now. And that's really good. So all of the, all of his stuff is kind of like, you know, balancing out, which is great. Um, so, um, which is wonderful. So they said that's the reason why they were giving him insulin is so his wounds could heal. Because obviously with people with diabetes have problems with their wounds healing properly. So, um... Yeah, so, but he's doing great. He's he's persistent, and he's determined, and he's ready to come home, but we are not sure if they're still sending him home yet. Um, if they leave, if he gets discharged from the hospital, he may not be going home home. He might be going to like a rehabilitation center where they are going to obviously help him mo with mobility and walking and bending the knees and all of that good stuff. But that will be in the same town that my parents live in. So that'll be great. So that way my mom um, can actually go visit him without having to rely on like me or my sister, even though she's girls, I can do it. I just don't like to. The traffic makes me nervous. And I'm like, well, then we will do it for you. We will take you. So I think tomorrow my brother's doing it. And then um, I know the rest of the week I can't because um, I have appointments myself. Brian has appointments, getting his splint off. He's got to get his cast put on. We have other things that we are doing. Um, so I know I won't be able to go back up there until probably after Christmas unless they release him. So um, that's kind of what we are we were talking about yesterday um but my and i don't know if my sister can either because i know obviously my sister has to work so we're all trying to figure it out but um my dad also understands i know my mom has a couple of um appointments this week too hello thank you so um yeah it's just one of those things you thank you so much have a good day hon just hope this is the right one Sometimes they screw it up. So Brian also texted me and he wants me to pick up firehouse subs on the way home. And I'm like, I can do that. 
because Firehouse Subs actually has gluten-free bread. So, I can get it. Ah, we got a green light here. All right, so I'm going to go because I'm going to be um, driving down the road and this camera is not very stable when it comes to like moving, so it'll fall over. So, check back with you guys later. All righty. So, <laughs> remember when I told you guys that I was being like stretched very thin? I'm being very stretched very, very thin. <laughs> I am now headed back to my mom's house after just leaving there this morning at 6.15 and waking up after a very not so good night of sleep, <laughs> headed back to my mom's house to stay the night again, to get up at 5 a.m., to leave at 5.45, to be at the hospital at 8 a.m. for them to show us how to take care of my dad's bandages and clean the wound because they are sending him home tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I mean, I barely, I didn't even get anything done today. Nothing. I got nothing done today. I went to the store and got the stuff done at Trader Joe's. That is all I got done. Went to the store and went to, trade, went to our, got our lunch at Firehouse Subs, went home and ate, and then we got the call. I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, let's figure this all out. So, we figured it all out. So, that's what I mean by being stretched thin and I kind of just knew things were going to be very chaotic. So, um, anyway, I'm just hoping that my dad will be able to fit in my car. Um, because my car is kind of tiny. It's a very tiny car. And, um, I don't, I'm hoping that his walker will be in the back because he has to have his walker obviously throughout the house. I'm going to have to help my mom remove some stuff from their hallway so he'll be able to walk down the hallway safely. Um, and then we're going to have to adjust some things as well. So with that being said, I'm headed back to my mom's house. Just wanted to update you guys. This video probably will not get up till Thursday or Friday because as soon as I get back home tomorrow, um, I don't even know what time I'm going to be able to be back home. I was supposed to go to Parker's program tomorrow night, but I'm not going to be able to go to her program tomorrow night. And I'm very sad about that. Um, but, uh, oh, well, my dad comes first. It's okay. Parker will have another program. That, but that's, we were just expecting him to come home maybe towards the end of the week. So everybody's, you know, kind of made their plans and everything for this week, but that's okay. No problem whatsoever. Not not complaining it's just throwing a wrench in some other it's just throwing a wrench in other things that we have going on and doing especially like days before Christmas and family coming into town and all that good stuff so anyway at least I got my kid to my kids stuff mailed off I didn't get the other two mailed off yet so I'll have to do that when I get back home and get that taken care of but other than that here we go we are on the way back to my mom's house on the way back Wow, <laughs> what a couple of crazy days I have had. Um, let me just start off with, hello, it is Wednesday. I just left the nail salon, got my nails done. I got them in red and then these are like little sparkles. Um, that I thought was going to be a relaxing um, nail day for me. Um, and, it, and, it, and it was semi-relaxing, but I was actually on the phone with my aunt. She had me on speakerphone um, because my aunt and my uncle, which is my dad's brother, um, and my dad's cousin and my mother are at the house and they're helping my dad with his bandages. Um, I took pictures and video of what they did yesterday in the hospital and I... Um, very carefully took pictures and video of how the process of how to take off his bandages, clean everything and put everything back on. And, um, so I, I, I have these pictures. I have like steps one through 12, I think it is. And I have the pictures and on each picture I have step one, you know, prepare a clean area. <laughs> step two, start the warm water. 
with washcloths. Step three, lay out the yellow I call lasagna, the lasagna gauze, because it looks yellow and you layer it like lasagna almost. So I said lay out the lasagna gauze and put all the bacitration on there. So like all these little steps. So this is the first day that my dad has been home fully. We got home yesterday about two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, it took hours for us to actually get him out of the hospital because they came in, showed us how to do all this stuff and, and everything. So, and on the way home, you know, the bandages kind of started to slip. And so when we got to my dad's house, I had to kind of help with kind of getting those bandages back up there. And I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling doing this because I know my dad's pain and um, it's very, very painful. Um, but I think he's more or less in that like trauma response and it's a painful thing and a jerky thing because he doesn't want anybody to touch it. So he's in a protective mode as well. Um, everybody is wearing gowns. Everybody's wearing masks. Everybody is wearing gloves. So we're all covered there. We got enough of that stuff to come home with us and we can get more um, as needed because my dad has to go back to the hospital next Tuesday to have this done as well in their facility. Um, but uh, so they were, I was just kind of walking everybody through those steps and they're doing such a great job. And I totally appreciate everybody doing all that for us me my sister has to work I'm back at home now um, I finally got a good night's rest last night because when I left my parents house I came home and we um, had some a, a small bite to eat and then um, I pretty much took a shower and like went to bed I was like done 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 <laughs> Um, I, my brain was just completely like fried. I was completely tired and exhausted. And then just dealing with both of my parents and then dealing with my dad and all that good stuff. It was just so much. And, um, we just, um, it was just like, okay, when I left my parents yesterday, I'm like, I, okay, I'm leaving. My uncle was there to help. He went out and got a few things that my dad needed. And, um, I'm so thankful for all of their help and everything that they're doing. Um, it's an hour and a half drive for me to go to, to my parents' house. We've already talked about this. Um, so they kind of knew that I wasn't coming back today. So it was going to be like tag you it. Somebody else is doing this type of thing. Um, and my sister has to work today. So it was just one of those things where, she can't, nobody can do this, but my, but my aunt, my uncle and my cousin are doing such a great job, which is my dad's cousin, my dad's first cousin, my second cousin. Anyway, and they're just doing a great job and she so thankful for her. She's so helpful. And I, I so much appreciate all what that she's doing. Um, but I think they got it. So I walked them through everything and we were talking through everything. They had me on speakerphone. And um, we, the main thing that we were just worried about is taking the stuff off because we have to soak my dad's area and pull the yellow lasagna gauze off. And um, that has to be like hot water the whole time. So I think what we've decided to do, because my dad has to kind of stand up in a, in a stand up position with his legs kind of like apart. Um, we're going to, they're going to get a squeezy bottle and get the soapy water with a squeezy bottle and stuff in it. The medicine the or the cleaning stuff that they gave us, we'll put in there with the warm water and squeeze it on there. And very, it has to be soaked when they're pulling it because it's pulling it off of his, his skin, you know, all that, um, burn site. So they're pulling in water, water pulling, water pulling. So I'm just making sure that they're doing that and doing it gently. And I also say, when you're doing this, please make sure you're telling my dad, okay, we're squirting water here. We're going to start pulling or peeling this off. So just every step of the way, you have to tell him what you're doing. So that's, that's what they're doing. So we got them to the point where now Everything is clean. They've already put all the lasagna stuff on it. And now they're just going to wrap his legs um, in that gauzy stuff that goes all the way up. Just the stuff that you leave on all day long. The stuff that Brian has on his foot too. Um, so, whew, my God, that was exhausting. <laughs> it was exhausting just listening to it and just trying to have them walk through it. Because it's like, you know, my mom's talking, my dad's talking, my dad's telling jokes, my dad's talking. And Pam's trying to do something. And my aunt and uncle are trying to help. It's like... Can you guys just please be quiet for just a few minutes so I can say something and help you guys through this? Everybody's like, let's be quiet. Let Ange speak for a second so she can walk us through this. It's like, Jesus, you guys, just calm down. Stop talking. Let's all just take a second here. And I said, after you're done with each thing, I said, just kind of take a deep breath and breathe. Give my dad a little bit of a break, but we can't leave anything exposed. So... 
Whew, take a deep breath, I said, and said, let's move on to the next step. If it was me and I was doing it, which I'll probably end up having to do it sometime as well, um, I would have been like, I don't need anybody here. I just, I don't need my mom to go away. I just need like my aunt, my uncle to be there. Cause my mom would be like the worst. She'll be like, Angela, that's not what they did. And I'm like, I have pictures and I have video. This is what they did. This is what they said to do. So anyway, I think they got it. Good deal. As long as it's exhausting for my dad, cause he's like standing up on his legs and they're trying to get all this stuff on and God bless him. I seen more of my dad yesterday than I care to think about. <laughs> so funny but I'm like but he's like oh oh you know I'm like well daddy I'm like number one I said I'm your daughter and I said and you know we have to get this stuff done I said we're going to keep you as private and protected as much as possible I said but some of these bandages have to go way up high I said so we're going to have to you know get in there and put those bandages around all that stuff so oh lord oh lord but I think we're going to get it. This was just like the first day. Once everybody kind of gets an idea of how to do all this, then it's just going to flow so much easier for them, which I'm so, so thankful for. Um, so we are without power at home. For some reason, um, half of our subdivision ran out of power at like 7.50 this morning. So we are with, what, 7, 8, 9... 10. We're almost going on three hours with no power at the house, half of our subdivision. And my neighbor just said she saw all the fire, all the um, electric trucks coming in, utility trucks coming in. I am going to go run to Publix really quick and get um, my list done that I have to get done. My turkey, my ham, my potatoes, all that good stuff. And then I'm going to head home. Hopefully by then we'll have some power. Um, but I'm also going to um, end this vlog and maybe start another one. But before I end this, I'm going to show you guys all the stuff that I got for Christmas for dinner on Monday and um, the gifts that we got. We got some more gifts in mail. And I opened a couple this morning. So I'm going to go to Publix. I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later. But my dad is home. Thumbs up. He's doing really well. Spirits are high. He's a jokester. So we laugh. He's like, I'm feeling the burn. I'm feeling the burn. <laughs> So he's a jokester. We all joke. We all laugh about things. Like I wore my Johnny Cash shirt into the to the hospital the other day and I'm like, you know, you fell into a burning ring of fire. He was laughing. We joke. That's what we do. Um, but yeah, I thought that was, it's funny. And of course, then my uncle's asking him, you know, how big the deer was. You can't lie about it because we can say liar, liar, pants on fire now. <laughs> so again, you have to have a sense of humor. My dad has a sense of humor. And quite honestly, and I'm going to leave you with this. Yesterday when the nurse was discharging us and she said that there's a hotline that burn victims can call if they are, you know, feeling down, feeling blue, or if they need someone to talk to about it. And she actually said that my dad would be a great advocate for burn victims because of how, um, how spirited he was and how he kept his cool and how he was kind of funny and jokey and and just very positive about his situation and they thought that he would be a very good advocate to talk to other people about their burn stuff but I, and I haven't even told my dad that yet. Um, I might tell him when he's like, again, a little bit more calm and, and more rested. But I thought that was a, that was a very nice thing for her to say. So, um, God bless him. God bless him. He is again, just a trooper and persistent and determined and he's okay. And he's like, it's okay. We're just going to, we're going to do this. We're going to get it done. It's going to happen. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Um, and, um, again, let me say this too. The home health nurse was supposed to come in to help him today. And she had called and she's like, I don't know when I'm going to be able to come in. And daddy said, when he was talking to her, he could hear her screaming kids in the background. And he's like, Oh, hell no. Um, so he's like, I don't know what type of people these, these people are. I don't know if they're certified. I don't know if they're just hired just to come in to help people. He goes, but I would rather have my family doing this than some stranger coming in that I don't even know. So, um, you know, it's his choice and it's his option and he has every right to say that. I mean, it's his body and so he can choose who he wants. So, um, that was unfortunate and maybe we can try to find another home health nurse, but I think between, 
me, my sister, my aunt, my cousin, my aunt, or my cousin, my aunt and uncle, and my mom, we can we can get this done and we can do this. And my dad's perfectly fine with that. So um, he's gotten over the fact that we're going to be seeing parts of him that he's, he's going to be exposed. <laughs> For some people, that's not going to be enjoyable, but we're going to get it done, and it's all it's all good. We're all adults here, Daddy. I said. <laughs> And we're going to get this done for you. So just so he stays, um, just so his, his wounds stay nice and clean and we don't have to worry about anything. So anyway, all right, I'm going to go to Publix and then I'm going to go home and I'll check back with you guys in a little while. Bye. Alrighty. So I'm back home. This is like one thing that I got. I actually ordered this for myself for Christmas, but, um, I wanted it to come in. It was supposed to come in last Friday so we could use it on Saturday, but it didn't. That's unfortunate because I bought a bunch of chocolate and some strawberries. We we're going to do some dipping, but we did it anyway. We just didn't have this, but, um, yeah, but that is what I wanted to show you guys that. And then I wanted to show you guys these really pretty blankets that Brian's mom sent us. These are really pretty as well. One's like white, really soft. I think the lighting is, let's see if I can get this fixed here. Let's see, the lighting on this. There we go, and there might be some lines. I'm just still trying to figure out the adjustments on this thing. But anyway, very, very soft blanket. One is like a pure white, and the other one is like kind of tan with, uh, it's just, they're just so super, super soft. And then a friend of ours from Georgia sent us these two um, heating, um, heated electric throws. And she sent two of them, obviously, one for me, one for Brian. One is like a Christmas one, and the other one is like the color navy. Um, so these are really nice too. She said it, they could be used for outside too, you know. When we're sitting by the fireplace, I'm like, oh yeah, that's so true. We, we could. Um, but uh, yeah. And then our power is back on, so that is great. I think they had all the utility trucks. The utility trucks were in here trying to figure something out. With them building so many houses throughout here, sometimes they hit electrical stuff and it shuts the power off. But um, it was off from like three, from 7.50 to almost 11 o'clock. So anyway, I'm back home. Um, I still have more stuff that I was going to show you guys too, but I'm just going to go ahead and end this vlog here. That way I can get this kind of like up and edited. I have a lot of stuff to catch up on here at the house. So I probably won't have any videos up until again next week, but I will see you guys. Have a great Christmas. I appreciate everything, all your patience, all your understanding, all your kind comments, everything over the past um, week and a half or so with my dad. Still got a long way to go with him, but we're going to get it all done. And I'm so thankful for my other family too, who is going to be actually stepping in and helping as well, because it's very hard for me to get up there all the time. It's very hard for my sister because she works. So have a great Christmas, guys. I'll see you.